putting an end to the water wars, the Kaleshwaram lift irrigation project to harness the flood waters of the Godavari is aimed at making Telangana drought proof. Apart from what's visible to us in Kaleshwaram, there's a lot more out there about the hidden world of tunnels, gravity canals and power burning motors where the entire process of irrigation takes place. Hey there viewers, Namaste. Welcome to Fan Desi. To know more about this project, stay tuned till the end. Before getting started, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. College for a lift irrigation project. The world's largest multi-purpose irrigation project is on the Godavari River in Kaleshwaram of Telangana. This project will provide water for drinking and irrigation purposes to about 45 lakh acres in 20 of the 31 districts in Telangana apart from Hyderabad and Secunderabad. Originally called the Pranahita Chevella project, which was undertaken by the Congress rule erstwhile Andhra Pradesh, it was redesigned extended and renamed as Kaleshwaram project after Telangana Rashtra Samiti came to power in Telangana in 2014. The cost of the works too went up from a little over 40 to 80,000 crores after the redesigning. This project was inaugurated on 21st June 2019 by Chief Minister of Telangana, Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao, Chief Minister of AP, Mr. Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy, Maharashtra's Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis and the Governor of AP in Telangana, Mr. ESL Narsimhan. Claimed to be an engineering marvel, the project comprises of 1,832 km water supply route, which covers 1,531 km gravity canal, 203 km tunnel routes, 20 lifts and 19 pump houses. This massive project is divided into 7 links and 28 packages and involved digging of 20 reservoirs in 13 districts with the total capacity to store 145 TMC. The water that gets stored in Kaleshwaram Dam will be lifted for irrigation in three phases accordingly through the tunnels. These tunnels play a very important role in this project and are dug using European technology. It took a very long time for them to dig these tunnels and these tunnels are so big that two trucks could easily fit into them. This project has achieved yet another milestone with the commencement of the world's largest underground pumping station at Lakshmipur village. The pump house constructed about 470 feet below the earth's surface is the most important part of the project. It has a twin tunnel, large surge pools and seven motors. Each motor pump has a capacity of 139 megawatts and weighs about 2,376 metric tons and are called giant motors or Bahubali motors. These motors can lift 2 to 3 TMC feet of water per day through a 14.09 km long underground tunnel which is the longest irrigation tunnel in the world. The unique structure and size of this underground work are simply mind-boggling. Large multi-storey buildings have been constructed underground for housing giant motors, machinery and control centres. Going around the pump house will remind one of visiting a huge underground shopping mall with multiple floors. By the construction of barrages and reservoirs, continuous pumping water is stored in the Godavari. This has saved the government the hassles of land acquisition and resettlement of people. The Kaleshwaram project will support Mission Kakati and Mission Bhagiratha schemes designed to provide drinking water to many villages and will improve the capacities of the tanks. Barrages have been constructed at Medigadda, Annaram and Sandala from which water will be moved to fill Yellampalli and Sri Ramsagar projects. With this, the Godavari will be alive on a 199km stretch in Telangana. Apart from the supposition, this project is also facing several criticisms. The main criticism is aimed at its economic valuability measured in the terms of return on investment. Setting aside the fixed costs, the operating costs involve heavy expenditures on maintaining pumping stations and the cost of electricity to run the pumps. It 
is estimated that the lifting of 3 TMC water from the Godavari to feed the Kaleshwaram project 7152 megawatts of power is required and arrangements are being made for the supply of adequate power about 140 to 180 TMC would be harnessed during the 90 flood days of Godavari from August to October once the project reaches its full operational capacity places like karinagar rajanasar sulla siddipet medak yadadri nalgonda sangareddy nizambad jagatyal and more across the state will be irrigated and is expected to make telangana an economic power because farmers will be able to sow two crops and thousands of crores of worth fishing industry would flourish in the fresh water in this project alongside tourism and water sports so that's all for today guys Thanks for watching Fan Desi. Hope you liked the video and if you did please do like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.